Hey, what's up, guys and gals, Ranger fans? Sorry, I'm playing uh, whew, playing catch up today. How's everybody doing today on this fine Monday? Let me get my chat all ready to go. We got Radio B, Shago, Atomic, Alex. Nice to see everybody. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with me, happy Monday. Did I say happy Monday? I'm like going crazy today. Um, I'm Daddy Louie, member of the Circle of Nerds. You can find all of my content on youtube.com slash circle of nerds. We also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash circle of nerds if you want to show us support in that way. Uh, we appreciate both or either. Both is always better. Uh, as always, thank you to Renegade for having me on stream today. Today we are painting the Black Ranger from the In Space uh, um, team from the Rise of the Psycho Rangers. Let's go down to the table. Yeah, there we go. Here he is. Uh, it's a really cool pose. We won't have any problems uh, reaching any of the crevices and stuff like that. Um, because nothing is blocked, which is great. Um, I decided to prime him in gray instead of white. Usually we do uh, white uh, on our streams, but I decided to go with gray. I don't really know what I was thinking. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've been doing some research on painting black, painting grays, uh, trying to find some new techniques that maybe we could try and I can show you and at the end of the day um, I don't really like any of them. So uh, we are going to go with how I personally like painting black. This is uh, by no means the end all be all of painting black. Uh, the problem with black and it's not really a problem but the thing that you should know about black is that uh, black is a one-dimensional color. There's no such thing as dark black, and there's no such thing as light black. Light black is gray. Uh, so black is black. Um, the way that we get around um, that with shading, there's multiple ways that you can do it. Uh, a lot of people will tell you to just prime the miniature in black, uh, and you can do that. That's totally acceptable uh, way to do it. The reason that I choose not to uh, prime in black, especially with a model like this, is because uh, of the other colors that we need to paint on the model. So his boots, his gloves, his belt, uh, the, the band of colors on his chest, um, the white around his... I'm looking at a picture off to the side. Uh, the holster, the white around the, the helmet, the white on the neck... White is a very difficult color to paint, one of the hardest colors to paint in my opinion, uh, other than yellow, which we've talked about many times. So uh, the problem if you prime the whole thing black is that we'd have to paint over that black uh, with white to get our white color, and that's not fun. That's not a good time. So I would rather paint um, gray, like light gray like this, or white, and then paint my blacks. Uh, so to do that, we are going to use our favorite Vallejo model color, uh, German gray. That's what we're going to start with. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, the other thing, too, is that his collar, like all the other in space. Matter of fact, let me grab my other. Uh, so the other uh, thing here, remember we did the, uh, the blue uh, Space Ranger. Uh, the collar is yellow, and what, I, like I just said, yellow is a very tough uh, color to paint, so um, we have to keep that in mind as well. So uh, anyway, uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be a lot of the same techniques that we did here. We're going to do the gloves and the boots a little different because uh, we didn't prime him in white like we did the other one, so that should be fun. Uh, next week, we're going to do Psycho Pink. I think that's what I've got lined up for next week. Um, so we're going to explore some of the uh, some of the things that you can do with uh, reds and pinks. Um, I still have not been able to find any... Uh, what was it that I was telling everybody in the chat last week? 
um, that I wanted to get instead of airbrush thinner. Uh, glaze medium. I wanted to find some glaze medium. Um, I just can't find any locally. And uh, online it's very expensive. So we are going to use our airbrush thinner one drop uh, just to mix our colors or to water down our colors, I should say. Uh, it helps the paint flow. Yeah, my local Warhammer store is like an hour away, unfortunately. I don't know I don't know why. I have Lahayam Lah what Lahim medium. Lahayam Lahayam medium. Um I don't know if that's a glaze medium or not. I could use that. I tend to use that more for my washes, to water down my washes. So I hope that everyone enjoyed their weekend. Uh, for those that are observing uh, Thanksgiving, I hope everybody is getting excited for the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we uh, we were supposed to have visitors, and that ended up getting canceled last minute. So I'm pretty bummed about that, uh, but happy to be here painting with y'all. It keeps me distracted from the COVID, the COVID news that makes me sad. Uh, so one of the good things uh, about this um, this German Grey, which, by the way, if you don't have access to Vallejo, I found this out. I, I love finding out new things because it means that I haven't uh, reached the end of the internet yet. Um, it's very, very, very close to Eschen Grey in color uh, from Games Workshop. Um, so if you want to try out the way that I do uh, black colors and you don't have access to Vallejo, I still think that uh, German Gray from Vallejo is a better color. Uh, it has better consistency and uh, better coverage. But if you don't have access to Vallejo paints, um, then you can do this same technique with Eschen Gray, which is pretty cool. I don't use a lot of Vallejo paints. Um, I have a few, but I only use a couple. I mostly use uh, the three primary Vallejo paints that I use more than anything else is German Gray, Black, uh, and um, oh, Rom. Saw a tweet earlier. That's for someone to say hi to you from them, so that's awesome. Yeah, Rom used to come on to the stream uh, all the time when it was at its other time when we did it earlier in the day. But I haven't, I haven't seen Rom in the stream since we moved time, so he uh, must not be able to make it. At this new time. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh, um, camo black brown is the other uh, color from Vallejo that I really like. Uh, it's a really nice dark brown color. Works really, really good for like straps and stuff like that. Like if you're painting a model that has a lot of leather straps and pouches, uh, it's a really good base color for that.
finally got to play Heroes of the Grid for the first time last week. My sister and I played Scenario Zero, and we lost to Bones, mostly because she refused to fight Pudgy Pig a second time. Um, I have not played Heroes of the Grid a lot. Uh, Pre-COVID, I played it a bunch. Um, Post-COVID, I've played it zero. So... You know, my experience with it is very limited as far as playing. But I've only won the game one time. Uh, I've only won once. So, there's that. Uh, and it was against Rita. I'll, I won't ever forget that, who we played against. I want to say it was Bones... Pudgy and Rita. Hey, AJ. The more I paint with this brush, this is the number, which one is this? Is this the number one from, it's actually all banged up. The number is scratched off because I banged it up. It's one of the Raphael brushes, man. So good. Uh... Trying to remember. I think those shoulder straps are white. Picture I've got up. He's bending his arm. I can't see it. Atomic says, I also got to play this weekend, but it was shockingly bad game. Played zero red, blue, and green. Managed to take out Robo Goat and Primator in the same round, but basically missed all my rolls for foot soldiers and lost to Panic. That's how I, I lose. Every single time I lose, I lose to Panic. Every single time. So, pre-COVID, I probably played, I don't know, let's say 10 games. It's probably more than that, but let's say 10 games for giggles. And uh, I won one of the 10 games, and all the games that I lost was due to um, Panic. Has anyone tried playing virtually? I would imagine that the game is pretty easy to play virtually 
one person, you know, controls, you know, the board and stuff, and then all the other players just need to have their rangers and their ranger cards. Super quiet today because he's finally putting paint on that Megazord after stripping it. Nice. I didn't know about the tabletop simulator. I'm not a ginormous tabletop simulator fan. I own it. Um... And I have played a few games on it. Mostly I played Star Wars Destiny when Star Wars Destiny was like in its prime. And I got a bad taste in my mouth, but it really could have been from, you know, that particular build for that game. And I just have not recently had the... Uh, courage, I guess, or even desire to try out other mods. And people ask me all the time, because being a uh, game reviewer, you know, right now, especially with COVID, uh, a lot of people are wanting you to review games on Tabletop Simulator. Yeah, I mean, I, I do know that, you know, TTS isn't going to replace, you know, in-person gaming. And maybe I'm being stubborn, and because I'm being stubborn, I've missed out on weeks and months of, of the ability to game. <laughs> because I'm not gaming right now with COVID. It's just, man, I love the, you know, the, the feel of dice in the hand, the, the rolling, the laughing, and hanging out with your friends. It just, yeah. I also feel like TTS has kind of, like, ruined some games. Not board games, but definitely, like, competitive games. And not even necessarily ruined it, but changed the landscape of it. Uh, because TTS exists, um, because metas are created in competitive games while playing in TTS, and then developers are having no choice but to, you know, go through and basically change the game to adjust the meta, but that's my soapbox anyway. Yeah, that's probably what I would do if I was playing TTS, too. I'd break out all my dice and all my cards anyway. One of my favorite games ever is on TTS, and I've just been so stubborn about not jumping on there and playing. My another problem is is like I have two computers, I have two laptops. I have the laptop that I use for my streaming and my uh, recording, uh, which I have hooked up in my basement. And then I've got a MacBook that I do all of my video editing on. So when I'm done recording a video, 
um, I transfer it to my MacBook so that I can go upstairs and I'm just more familiar with Macs and uh, the ability to uh, edit and stuff on a Mac. So I'll transfer it, take my MacBook upstairs, and then like, you know, while we're watching TV as a family or, you know, just hanging out, I can be on my MacBook editing my videos. All that to say, uh, the MacBook will not run TTS. So the only way that I could play is if I ran it on the laptop downstairs. And really the only free time that I have is like when we're doing family stuff or when I'm upstairs with, you know, watching TV with the wife. Which is why my Switch gets used more than anything else as far as gaming. That and my phone. So uh, I would have to take this computer that I'm streaming on right now and I would have to take it upstairs, uh, you know, in order to play on TTS, which isn't a ginormous deal. It's more just pain in the butt because it's 99.99% of the time just hooked up, set up, stays down here. Because the only time I come downstairs these days is to stream, record my YouTube videos, and paint. And until I'm caught up on my painting, painting takes priority. Although I got a lot closer today. Um, one of the games that I'm painting... Um, I got down to the very last, uh, the very last model, uh, pre-new releases that I have to paint, so I paint that and I'm caught up, which is exciting for me. Easy, get a wireless mouse, stream your downstairs laptop, and use your Mac to watch the stream and use the wireless mouse. <laughs> Except that the stream would be delayed. So, like, what I'm saying to you right now, you're not hearing until, like, ten seconds later. I don't know if you follow the comics closely, but the identity of the new Green Ranger was leaked by distributors revealing covers that weren't supposed to. Um, I used to follow the comics, like, very passionately, and then COVID happened, and I have not been able to keep up with getting out to the store to get my fix. So I've been having to be very selective with my comic stuff. The only comic that I've read in uh, recent memory was The Last Ronin, which was Ninja Turtles. Oh, and the... Uh, what was the other thing that I read? Oh, the Power Ranger Ninja Turtle crossover. I guess those were the two more, more recent things. I actually got those, uh, the Ninja Turtle crossover um, books. I got all of the um, the thank you covers 
and I paid way too much, but that's okay, right? Just don't tell my wife. Hopefully she's not watching. I don't think she is. Oh yeah, the Green Ranger Shredder was sick. We're almost done with this gray. I want to put a wash on it and move to a different color. That's the other thing that stinks about gray and black is that it's a little boring to watch being painted. I'd be happy with a turtle Megazord, too. I want toys of all that stuff. They did a good job making toys of the uh, for the Batman Ninja Turtle crossover. Like, there's a lot of action figures from that series. Granted, they've done that, like, three times now. So, that could also be why there's toys for it, but... I mean, I'm sure we'll never see that stuff in Heroes of the Grid just because it requires another IP, but I'd settle for some toys. Uh, so for the gray um, that we've painted, we're going to do selective uh, washing uh, because I've decided that I'm not going to wash the whole model like I normally do uh, with the boots and stuff like that. We're going to do those a little different. Yeah, Lead Belcher is a great color. Uh, the only metallics that I think are better than 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 Lead Belcher might be the Scale 75 metallics. They have a black, I think it's called Black Metal. Let me see what it's called. Yeah, Black Metal. This color is freaking awesome. Um, and... They also have a thrash metal, which is a little closer to lead belcher. Um, but this one's really good, too. Um, and they also have colored metallics, which I really like. I wish GW would come out with me metallic colors. Um, they're colored metallics. I know Army Painter just... I don't know if they're actually for sale yet, but um, I know that they announced it. Somebody had sent me a photo on my phone. Uh, let me see if actually I can pull it up. Because it's worth showing you guys. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Really quick. Because it really is worth, worth looking at. And again, I don't know if these are for sale yet. I gotta find out. Because I want the whole set. Let 
Was it that long ago? I didn't think that it was sent to me that long ago. Um. Dang, I really wanted to show you guys. It might have been a post and not sent to me directly. Uh, but anyway, Army Painter has some colored metallics coming out. Uh, if they're not out already. And they're freaking phenomenal. Like, they look so, so good. I'm going to scroll through this post really fast. Let's see if... The problem is, is I'm a part of so many groups and so many Facebook chats. Um, I just really want to show you this to you guys because it's worth, worth showing out. I even said as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, I'm going to need the entire set of those. Um, even though I have colored metallics from scale 75. Um, oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. Yes. Um, it doesn't say if they're out yet or not. Okay, here it goes. Let's see if I can focus. There you go. Look how freaking cool those look. Um, so it's like gemstone, uh, zypher pink, royal purple, something magic. Uh, glitter green, elven something, and like a nightshade. They look really, really good. I'm sure that that picture doesn't like convince you because it's a picture, but I, I promise they look great. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting all of those, hopefully using them to some effect. Um, okay, what were we doing? Okay. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I thought that was worth showing off. Hopefully I didn't lose any of you. Um, all right. I get really excited when new paints come out because it doesn't happen very often. Um, like when contrast paints came out, it like blew up the universe because it was like an entire new line. Oh, yeah, I do. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the chat and not the camera. So I got to figure out when those are coming out. Those new metallic paints. All right, I think we're done with that color. So one thing that I noticed on uh, the, the image that I pulled up for the Black Ranger. Oh, well, will you look at that? So the image that I pulled up of the Black Ranger, his blaster is blue. 
Uh, and then I looked at this guy, and I was like, dang, I need to paint his blaster blue. Oh, wait, he doesn't have a blaster. Oh, yeah, that's because he already is holding the blaster. Um, okay. So let's get our... Oh, man. I missed a spot. Yeah, a full-scale Infinity Gauntlet with those, uh... Oh, 18 days they come out. Nice. Yeah, I have a Thanos model that I painted, and uh, I may redo the gems on the model with, with those metallics, actually. Um... Um, okay. I need to go to the store and get some more Nuln Oil. I am getting dangerously low. Um, the paint that we're talking about is Army Painter. The metallics that I was mentioning. Yeah, I will, if they have any. Uh, do you remember last week? Maybe it wasn't last week, but I know I've mentioned it on stream before. How all of my all of my paints are in a bucket. Um, do I care what brand? No, I mean I think the only glazed medium I've ever seen, like in person, was Vallejo. But I'm sure there's other brands that make it. Um, I ordered some paint stands uh, because I got a little table next to me now um, that has um, my second monitor on it and I can finally put my paints in a uh, in a thingy I don't know I don't know if Windsor and Newton makes a uh, glaze medium or not I'm sure they, maybe they do. I thought they only made brushes. I know Amazon has um, a Vallejo glaze medium on it, but it's like, I want to say it's like eight bucks for the bottle and then like $5 to ship it. I just gotta run up to uh, Hobby Lobby and grab some, cause. So I'm, right now I'm, uh, in case you were, didn't know what I was doing, uh, I'm being selective about my wash. I'm not putting a wash on the whole model, just on the gray. Um, because I want it to fill in uh, the... You can see it there already starting to fill in the abs. Oh, that is super cool. So Tomic says he just watched a one-minute video. 
uh, about the metallic paint set. It comes with one called Fairy Dust, which you can mix with other paints to make them metallic. Uh, so you're not just stuck with the metallics that, uh, that are in the set. You can make your own metallics, which is really neat. And it sounds like it comes out soon, that set. So uh, I'm going to have to figure out where I can grab some. Problem is, is I don't have uh, I don't have a local game store close to me within driving distance. Um, when I say driving distance, I mean like, you know, not a far drive. Uh, that has paint supplies. I do have a game store across the street but he doesn't sell any paint supplies yet. He said he, I messaged him the other day and asked if he was planning on getting any anytime soon. And he said he has a paint rack on order, on back order. Um, but I, he didn't tell me what brand it was. So it's either, probably either GW or um, Army Painter. Don't put your finger on the part that you just put a wash on, Louie. That's pretty dumb. All right. Um, so this is the hard part. Hard part's over with. Uh, now we just gotta fill in fill in the gaps of uh, of what we painted. Um, so the next color, while we let that wash go, I think we're going to do is, let's go ahead and knock out the gold. There's only two things on the model that are gold. <laughs> Jay Quellen's here, everybody. Everybody say hi to Jay Quellen.
Yeah, Retributor is my favorite gold for sure. Um, I really like Liberator gold as well. Um, however, mine seems to have gone bad. It's gone very, very bad. Um, I don't know why. I tried using it this weekend on another project, and uh, I don't know what's going on with it. Yep, so this is Retributor Gold right here. Um, what I like about Retributor Gold is that um, it's such a great gold on its own, but if you want to warm the color up, um, you just throw some flesh tone on it, and it really, uh, it really just changes it completely. I guess that's really like the only thing that's gold on the model is the belt. Even the parts on the staff are all silver. I think we Let's see what grays are we gonna use. Let's grab some celestial gray. I don't have a bottle of the base coat gray that I used, uh, which is a big bummer. I just realized that. So for the base coat, I used uh, whatever Games Workshop's newest gray is. Uh, gray Seer, I think it's called, but I don't have a bottle of it. So going over these grays might not work out the way I want it to, let's see. So this is Celestial Gray over Gray Seer. Um, it looks pretty close. I'm just using it to fix some of the, uh, parts that... Oh yeah, it looks really close, actually. I can't even really tell the difference. That's good. Do you put stainless steel ball bearings in your pots for shaking? Um, yes, I do, but I don't use stainless steel. I use glass. Um, I got mine, I, I got mine on eBay. Um, I just typed in, um, glass agitators. Uh, and it came like this. Um. Came in, like, these little bags. I think there was, like, 25, and I ordered, like, four bags. Which I shouldn't have, because I have way too many now, but... But I have the I have the metal ones too. I have everything. Uh, I have the metal the army painter metal ones too. I actually um so I ordered these um for my I ordered these for the my scale seventy five models because I wasn't really happy with the colors that were coming out. Um, and somebody online said that they don't mix well, so you should put agitators in them. Um, but it's, it said that it was going to take them, like, after I ordered them, it said it was going to take them, like, two months to get here. 
even though it didn't say that when I ordered them. So I went on uh, I went on Amazon and I ordered these, and these actually showed up before these did. So I haven't used the metal ones uh, at all. They're just and, and when I bought them, they this whole thing had opened actually. Um, so I opened the box and there were all these little ball bearings everywhere because um, whoever packaged it sucked. And I'm sure there's, I'm sure I lost a few too. But like I said, I haven't used them, so. Uh, and the glass ones seem to be working fine so far. Um, all right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do our, our color squares now. Um, so it goes um, black, which we're gonna do this gray. You know what, no we're not. We're gonna do actually black, cause I want that to really like stand out. I also ordered a new wet palette. Did I tell you guys that? So that should be here soonish. I ordered that from like Switzerland though, so I don't know when that's actually coming. It was probably not Switzerland. Maybe it was. I don't know. I know I talked about it. Um, for the squares, I'm using a uh, a size. I don't know what are the what are the negative sizes. How do you say them? Zero over two. It's the size after double zero. So you have one, zero, double zero, and then, or is two over zero, is that what that means, double zero? It might mean, that might actually mean double zero. Don't listen to me. Because some paint brands actually put the double zeros on them, and then other paint brush brands will just say, you know, two over zero or whatever. So this is a negative... This is this is a double zero. I can show you an example. So this is a uh, this is a Windsor and Newton uh, Cotman, and this is a Raphael. So these are the same size, I believe. Um, but one, if you look, says double zero, and this one says two over zero. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. But the way that I'm going to do these squares is the same way that I do eyeballs. And the trick is to do it bigger than uh, bigger than you want and sorry I need to get uh, yellow Uriel yellow um, so you do the eyes bigger same thing with these squares uh, you can do them bigger than you want and then you shrink them down by applying the base color of the outside uh, to shrink it down if I ever do eyeballs um, if you notice most of the stuff we paint here is, has helmets on um, but if we ever do eyeballs then I'll be able to show you what I mean And 
And of course, sometimes the paint just goes in exactly how you want it, and you don't have to do that at all. Like this square is behaving. Uh, while I have the yellow out, I'm going to go ahead and do eye guy. <laughs> that's more like circles, though. Those aren't really eyes. Like, that's just like a circle with a little circle inside of it. It's a little different because you don't have to, like, shape the actual, like, shape of the eye. Uh, but eye guy was actually requested. Um, and I have not painted my eye guy. So you will probably see me paint eye guy uh, on stream. Uh, right now we're just trying to get through rise of the rise of psycho for that uh, for that giveaway. get a beholder model um yeah that that could work too it would have to be a small model because the trick with the eyes really what i'm referring to is like a model that's eyes are like microscopic um i don't even have oh i do have an i do have one right here so this is this is he-man in case you didn't know uh he has microscopic eyes <laughs> So painting his eyes uh, would be very difficult to paint. Uh, but I have a little trick that I have learned over the years to do his eyes that would be very simple. And no one can tell that you did the little cheat. So that's a 3D printed uh, He-Man, by the way, that I just showed you. That's not from a game. I have a buddy with a uh, resin 3D printer, and uh, he printed those out for me as a gift because he knows I like He-Man. Uh, spoke with Scott Guetta, and he greenlit the shirtless stream for all that there's... Oh, my God. Screenshot the chat with him. Uh, SG, what do you mean late stream? We started like an hour ago. And it's not later than normal. I think I started on time. So this yellow is, of course, being yellow, and it's not its not uh, giving me very good coverage. So I'm going to have to come back uh, to the color, unfortunately. But I'm going to let it dry for a minute before I keep rubbing it in. Uh, next color is red. I'll be so glad when I don't have to go through this bucket of paints anymore.
Someone once told me to use a light brown under yellow and gold. Is that not a good idea? Um, I, I, to be honest with you, I've actually never heard that before. Um, in theory, that does sound like a good idea, actually. Um, hmm, I'll have to give that a try um, on the next yellow model I do. We need pink. Uh, for the pink, we use, I use Pink Horror. Uh, it's my favorite pink. For the red, I just use Mephist and Red. Um... Mostly because I couldn't find my Evil Sun Scarlet quickly. I used to swear by Mephist and Red as the best red, like, ever of any paint company out there. I'm really, like, the more I paint, I'm really starting to like Evil Sun Scarlet more. Um, Mephist and Red is just too dark. Uh, when you put, especially when you put a wash on it. Uh, and then our last color is blue. Uh, we're going to use Calador Sky. That's the same blue that we used uh, when we painted the Blue Ranger. So just trying to keep the colors consistent. Okay, how it looks good. Uh, and actually, we need that blue, now that I'm thinking about it, we need that blue for the blaster. So we might as well go ahead and paint that now. How much detail we put on the blaster will depend on time. I may not go crazy. Uh, the good news is, is with the uh, with the base doing the bases the way that I'm going to for this particular set, um, for this guy it'll just be a completely black base. Someone is upstairs right now baking cookies. It's literally the worst because I can smell them, but I'm down here and I can't eat them. They better save me some.
since we had to cancel all of our Thanksgiving plans, we've got like all this food. So instead of having like one day of Thanksgiving, we're just going to have like a whole weekend of Thanksgiving. So like we've been talking about it and, you know, instead of making all of these dishes in one day, we're going to like spread them out. And that includes dessert, too. So we've got, like, four pies. There's only four of us, so we're just going to have, like, one pie, one different pie each night of the weekend. Not healthy, but it sounds like a good time to, you know, just indulge ourselves. Pretty much. Probably have some movie marathons, too. Uh, family and I started uh, watching the X-Men movie series in chronological order for, like, story chronological order. And there's actually a few of them I didn't even realize that I had not ever seen before. So it's going to be fun to catch up and watch those. Uh, the first one we watched last night, and I'd actually never seen it. I thought I had, but I didn't. Yeah, good question from AJ. How's everybody else celebrating the holiday? Those of you that uh, do celebrate.
Yeah, it's just crazy that I have so many... Like, there's so many of the newer X-Men movies that I've never seen before. I mean, I knew that, like... I knew that I hadn't seen one or two of them. I didn't realize that I hadn't seen, like, four or five of them. <laughs> Uh, I've, of course, seen all of the original three. As a matter of fact, Tony, you and I saw the first one together in theaters. I'll actually never forget that. We saw that together. You were sitting next to me in the theater... And uh, the whole toad scene with Storm, you looked over at me, you were like, he's going to shock his tongue, she's going to shock his tongue. <laughs> yeah, I'll never forget that. That was a fun memory. Yeah, I haven't seen the last one either, Shag. Like I said, I haven't seen the last... four or five of them. I've seen the Deadpool movies. Uh, I've seen... Um, X-Men 1, 2, and 3. And... I saw the first Wolverine movie. I haven't seen the second Wolverine movie. I saw X-Men First Class for the first time last night. And I haven't seen the other ones. Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, and Dark Phoenix. I have not seen any of those. Hence one of the reasons why we're doing the little marathon. Oh, and I've seen Logan.
being really careful around this uh, handle because I don't want to get any silver on the gloves. Okay, let's see what other color. There's something else. Oh, yeah. Duh. I gotta do his mouth. all of the silver bits and uh, now we need to touch up the helmet a bit oh I guess there's some on the on the blaster let's see if I can find a better picture of the blaster or maybe the chat knows somebody in the chat let me know this blaster that the blue ranger has is it the same blaster it looks really close um, so would it be the same colors as the blaster that he's using? Okay, so it's the same. Their weapons combine. Okay, so... I can't believe I just sorry I was just looking at the image that Alex sent. You're crazy. <laughs> so apparently I'm having a uh I feel like we need to do it for charity or something. The body is blue, the top is silver. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at the one that I painted. Finally got back in. What did you drop?
see. Thursdays. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I'm still not convinced that's what the people want, so... I think it's just I think it's just Alex. When you get when you get like more people to say that's what they want, then I'll do it. What charity are we gonna do? Charity of Charity of Daddy Louie. Oh, I'm so glad that you're I'm so glad that you're here for it too, Jay Quellen. Trust me. How many people do we need to get? Mm, that's a good question. This is actually, I painted the, uh, the holster strap the wrong color. Um, where's this color? Daddy bot, oh my god. Daddy bot, really? Is that what we're calling it now? It's so cold in my basement. Maybe for that stream, you should paint yourself. I do, I do have a space here. Look. I actually just put one down here because it was it's starting to get really cold here. And... Uh, and the basement's not as well insulated, which is really nice in the summertime. Uh, but in the wintertime, it's friggin' gold. All right, well, all of our base colors are done. Uh, it looks really good, in my opinion. Um, so now, what I'm going to do is um, explore some... 
explore some highlighting of uh, black, aka gray. Uh, so we we started with this uh, with this German gray, and then we put a wash over it. So our first step is to go back to uh, is go back to the German gray. Uh, so for this part, we're just really applying this color to flat surfaces, avoiding the recess. Um, it's going to be very close um, to the color that's on there now. Um, in the video and in the picture, you're not going to uh, be able to see the difference. Did we decide the number? No, we didn't. What do you guys think? Four is not sufficient. If four is the number of thirsty ladies there are that want to see me stream without a shirt on, then uh, I can promise you that... Uh, no one else wants that. <laughs> we got six now. Show some shoulder. Oh, boy. There you go. There's my shoulder.
<laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. Jay Quellen would too, and then what she'd do is she'd go to the Circle of Nerds chat, tell everybody in the Circle of Nerds chat to join the thing just so that they up their numbers. And then they'll announce it on our podcast. And then next thing you know, I'm uh, I'm getting triple teamed. So I just realized, uh, back to the actual painting, um, I just realized that my model was miscast. I didn't realize that earlier. There's actually this big, uh, there's actually this big bump on his back from, it, it looks like it's extra plastic. I don't know how I missed that earlier when I was painting. It's kind of a bummer. I just painted it black, so it's really not like like a huge deal. But I then I didn't notice it at first, but I've noticed it now. You guys are just... I already, I already agreed that I would do the George Costanza's pose for the $100 Patreon tier. That's I've already said that, like... So even if I were to back out of it now, you have on record that I did say it at one point in time. So I'm kind of uh, stuck there. I screwed myself. All right, so all of the base color is back on. Like I said, you're probably not really going to be able to see. Um, you can kind of see it now, right? I mean, you look at the abs. You can kind of see the definition starting to uh, take place there. Serious question on next week's stream. Will chat be disabled? Uh, so I don't think Renegade actually, like, put somebody in the stream. I think when I first started, um, streaming, like, when I was doing the earlier time, if you guys remember, there used to be somebody from Renegade, like, in the chat, but then they gave me, um, chat admin rights, so I don't think they, the, I don't think anybody actually sits in anymore. Somebody probably watches it before they post it on YouTube, though. We're not saying anything bad, we're just talking. We're just having fun. All right, 
right, so now, now we gotta move on in color. Let's see. I'm looking at my, uh, my color app to see what, the, if you guys haven't gotten, uh, Um, if you guys haven't played around with the, uh, with the app. Color is that. And of course, the uh, the app is not working right now. Great. Awesome. Uh, all right, so I guess we'll just use Dawnstone for now. That's probably what I would use anyway. Um, I do want something. So on this model, uh, he has you know the little the um, the display console or whatever on his head. And I want that to be, uh, I want that to stand out. Uh, and because it's black on black, it's not really standing out very well. Uh, so I'm actually going to gloss that part. Like that. What's working? We got 10 people in the chat now. Hey, chat. Welcome if you're new. You know, now that I'm looking at that, that gloss on the helmet, that looks really good. I might actually do that to the Blue Ranger. What do you guys think of how that looks? I wonder if I should do that. Um, I wonder if I should do that to... His dome. I think I'm going to. I really like how it looks.
Yeah, that that uh, that shine looks really cool. All right. Uh, how much time we got? Fifteen minutes. I need to. I need like five minutes to do the base at the end. So I'm going to take that off of there. Let's turn this around. I still want to do some more, um, some more highlighting. I wish, so hindsight, looking back on uh, the whole experience with this particular model, to make all of the, uh, to make all of the uh, rangers look uniform, I should have base coated them all the same color. So I base coated this guy in light gray. The other ranger I base coated in uh, white. So when next to each other, when you're looking really close, um, the white is darker on this guy than it is on this guy. So, um, you know, in the, in the future, uh, it makes painting the model faster if I do it this way. Uh, as opposed to the other way. Uh, and I get to spend more time doing the color as opposed to the white. So uh, if I want this model to look exactly like the blue model, um, I can I can do that with all through and gray. Uh, but time is going to prevent me from doing that. So. If you had noticed the mist mold beforehand, would you have tried to fix it? Yes, I would have. I would have cut it off. I've gotten complacent with um, with Renegade's models uh, because usually the mold lines are so minimal that I don't even like really look at them anymore uh the way that i should so when i first started painting uh renegades models you know i i did what i always do which is just give them a good once over make sure there's no crazy mold lines and stuff like that but um like i said i've gotten very complacent because their models come out really clean, and I don't usually have to worry about mold lines to, to trim. Um, so, honestly, I didn't even look. Of course you did. Uh, so right now I'm using Dawnstone, and I'm just doing some light lines around um, some of the folds of the costume. Uh, just to give some stronger definition to those spots.
actually like that very much. You guys are so funny. I'm gonna like get off the stream and look at my phone and I'm gonna have like all these messages from people.
Oh, don't give me that. Jay Quellen, don't I have my own shirt? Can't people like go on our merch store and buy a shirt with me on it? It's not a shirtless. <clears throat> Dang, we're like out of time, aren't we? Well, that's it. No, I was saying that there's not a shirtless shirt of me. There's not a shirt with a picture of me shirtless. That's what I meant. There's not a picture that exists. Nope, I already gave I already gave away the tease. I already showed the shoulder. See? That's a, that's as high up as the shoulder goes. Uh so what do you guys think? I think the model turned out pretty darn good. Uh there are a few little tiny things that I wanna do. Uh, to it a little little gray there uh, little gray gray line over here Uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, so, like I said, uh, next week is um, that that the shine on the top of the dome really, really like adds a lot. Um, and that was what did I use for that? I used um, Ard Coat for that. Um, that's how I made that shine on there because I don't have any glossy black. If you had a gloss black, you could do that too. Um, but really nice to uh, see the two of them next to each other. Uh, so that's, that's starting to come out really good. 
Um, next week, uh, we're going to paint Psycho pink. So we'll have two Space and two Psychos done. Uh, and then we may do Psycho Red. I'm not 100% sure. But next week is definitely Psycho Pink. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said earlier in the stream, uh, you can find all of my content over on uh, circleofnerds.com slash... Uh, or no, not circleofnerds.com. Listen to me. YouTube.com slash circleofnerds. Uh, go subscribe there. Um, if you want to show... More support, uh, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash circle of nerds. Uh, we have merch too, circle of nerds.com slash merch. Uh, you can get a shirt with my face on it uh, or a sticker with my face on it. I think we have stickers too, uh, buttons, things like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, enjoy your uh, Thanksgiving uh, week. Um, enjoy the rest of your, uh, your vacation time if you have some. And uh, thank you to always uh, to Renegade for having me on stream. There's nowhere else I would rather be on this Monday. Look, we got another person for the shirtless stream. Man, you guys are just growing in numbers. Uh, thank you to Renegade for having me on stream. And um, as always, remember to play your game. Uh, don't leave them sitting there on the shelf. And uh, I will see you guys next week. <laughs>